control to Henderson of a &M. Sliding it inside, then back out to Ricks. This is a three. Kelly. That's very nice ball movement and good patience on the part of AM, and that's the way you want to play Arkansas if you don't get a transition basket. And Oliver Miller uses the strength inside. Oliver breaks off top. Oh, they gave Lewis some time. That was out of his range. Bad pass. Here comes a slam jam. Thank you, man. Day. Todd Day with his first two. He'll make something happen in there. Day on the baseline. Hangs it in. That's a nice move on the baseline by Todd Day. It's great quickness, and they go to full court pressure immediately. Day gets it back in a deflection and a steal. Knocked away by Ricks and kicked out of bounds by Miller down low. This was a three. Not there. Rebound comes into Davis, and he scores. Davis, a native Texan, Sean from Maud, Texas. Watching Southwest Conference basketball. Todd Day hits a three. Going in to the top. Aggies have 34 seconds on the shot. Look at that. Oliver Miller just pops it away from Thompson and no time. Tell me about some versatility. When I'm talking about versatility and spontaneity, that's the kind of thing I mean in regards to Arkansas. That time it was Oliver Miller. Silver misses a guinea. Rich has it blocked away by Day, slapped in the corner out of bounds. Aggie crowd starting to get into it. Little trap. Basket will go, and the foul is going to be called inside on Lewis. Ball back. He gives it up to Lewis on the baseline. Double contact. Bury can't get the block. And the follow shot is good by Ware. Ware has been productive off the bench all year for Texas A&M. It's his second basket. Mayberry for three. Pretty good indication that it doesn't happen much. Morris from the circle. Morris. Shows another not good news if you're an Aggie fan. It's a reason back from this man. Lost. Gets a field goal inside his first two, and it's 25-16. Ricks doesn't take a lot of shots, not a big score. Where has it popped away from behind? Loop pass, Bowers, here's Murray. Murray lays it in. A nice lead pass by Bowers, did a good job getting the ball. And they're having all sorts of trouble with this Arkansas defense. Thompson has tried just one shot, and there he threw it away to Heary, and Heary leads it to Bowers, and Super's trailing, and Bowers lays it up and in, and he fouled. Bowers looking for the defense all the way, made a difficult shot. He just Lewis. helps him with his decision. Baseball pass down court. Here's Lewis with Fury trailing, and Lewis gets the jam. Sean Lewis. Anytime you bring all ten people into the backcourt, the defense becomes vulnerable for that streak, that long pass. And that's what AM did. Wallace off the post, banks it in. Roosevelt Wallace. And a rebound pulled down by Rashawn Lewis. Thompson double teamed and he's stripped. That's Day and Mayberry again putting pressure on Brooks Thompson. Now Thompson has some open court after giving up the ball 38 to 20. That's taken away again. The Razorbacks are relentless. Here comes Mayberry behind the back off to Day with the layup. He's missed a few but Miller is right there. Give Miller credit for attacking the ball and the basket. Well, I mean he's halfway to that 20 which is his norm. He averages 21.3 42 to 23. There it is again. <laughs> Give him two more, maybe three more, as he goes to the foul line after the basket. Wow, Todd Day. Far out on the floor. What they do is they force the offense out. Look at there. There's Oliver Miller, my goodness. Leading the break, getting it back to Mayberry. Mayberry with the basket. It's a couple of steals. 47 to 28. There's a lob. Day. <laughs> you can see Todd Day coming down the baseline on the left side of the floor. Mayberry picked him out very quickly. 15, 20 second stint here at the end of the half. That's good back cut. Mayberry misses the jam, but Miller won't. Mayberry's having a little trouble on some of those uh, in close. They've missed some layups, but they still lead by 21, Arkansas. Suber with the last shot, except for that throw to the basket, and we've reached halftime. Our halftime score is... Arkansas 51, Texas A&M 30 at the head. Get in uh, easily because this is a good three-point shooting team. They haven't had to shoot very many. Miller with the turnaround. There's another one inside. Well, that's the way Arkansas started the game today in the first half and the way they started to make the play. Is there anything that, well, as Miller gets the ball in close, that's a high percentage shot. Miller has only missed one. He's got 14 points. 
seven of eight from the field. Is there anything at all what the Aggies can do to cut down on these number of steals that uh, Arkansas is picking off by? Well, you just have to be aware of the defense. You have to make the pass before the trap comes. That's exactly what I was going to say right there. <laughs> you can't wait till the trap gets there and then float the ball up in the air. The long end of the rim. Bowers for three. Well, there's that versatility. Anderson rolls it out. Rick's tap can't go, and here comes uh, the Razorbacks. Arkansas Todd with Bay. numbers. Mayberry. Yeah, he got himself a dunk. He's come close on a couple Speedy others. Between these two teams. Been in foul trouble, but he's also been shut out so far. And the ball's thrown away, and here they come again. Bowers, Miller trailing. Bowers just lays it over the rim. 65 to 36 in favor of Arkansas. Kermit Davis is fuming on the sideline. I don't blame him. Super has three twos and a three. Miller takes it down on the loop pass. Oh, that's 16 points for Oliver, and it's 67 to 39. Nice hands. You can see what I'm talking about when we talk about the quality of his hands. Todd Day dumps it into Miller. Miller again turns around and rolls it in. He He's only missed one shot. He has nine field goals out of ten tries. 71 to 39 with 13.59 to play. And a whole bunch of Razorbacks are getting set to come into the game. As many as you can put in. Five. Five is the limit. Back door to Ricks. Ricks gets the hoops. Now we saw a defensive mistake that time by Arkansas on a back cut. They didn't cover. Todd Day banks it off. Todd Day with 23. Well, he's over his head. Sean Lewis. This unit on the floor for Arkansas right now, playing the man-to-man -man instead of that matchup zone. Big guy picks up the ball on the court, slides in, can't get it down. Wallace, the rebound is up there, and Wallace gets the basket after the miss by Morris. Wallace with his first fielder of the second half. Six points in the game, 75-43 Arkansas. Anderson. Well, there's one of the stories, too. Anderson's been out there a lot, and there turns into a turnover. Here's Wallace with Anderson back. Can't find him too closely. He doesn't. The basket goes in by Wallace. That's eight points. Style lacking. They still defeated Tech and SMU. Oh, yeah. They didn't lose. And TCU. <laughs> Here's Biley. That's a big thing. Rick tries to go into Anderson, and Anderson is on the scoreboard. Very nice execution. Good job. Good bounce pass. Good two-man play. A three for Roosevelt Wallace, who now officially is... That pass was deflected as he tried to go over the middle. Here's Murray, and Murray will score a pair. Wallace was hoping Murray would give him the basketball because he was... <laughs> they just can't do anything in with him close. And there's a cross-court pass. Fury with another steal. He's got Murray. Fury and Murray, and Murray for two. You sound like a poet today. <laughs> Almost. And right now, the Aggies will be battling for that, uh, that preliminary game. The field goal from the corner, Isaiah Morris. That's the good news. The You'll have a chance to win tickets in the tournament coming up. Fury outside. And those, turn those tournament tickets are not available. So. No, no. Not this year. Wallace. Six points with four rebounds. Arkansas's starting front court, 33 points. And that's not a starting front quarter. That's Roosevelt Wallace, and he just as good as away to A&M. Now they got a three-on-one. Here's Ricks. The pretty Ricks. 95-58 with 5.19 to play. Morris will come right back down court. Ten points for him. Sam Lewis leaves it short, maybe partly blocked. Battle for the ball, and apparently it never went out of bounds. That's hard to believe. Here's Bowers up court quickly. Mayberry looks the baseline and scores. Lee Mayberry. He doesn't like his team, uh, Nolan Richardson, playing sloppy regardless what the score is. That basket will count, and a hanging on, yeah. I'm sure. Well, they're 0 for 5, I think. Oh, what a head fake. Nice head fake. You take a look at Nolan Richardson. to the board. And another steal. And here's a lead pass up to Murray, and he lays it through. Murray gets the basket as the horn sounds. And our final score is registered on the scoreboard. Nolan Ryan clinches no less than a co-championship in the Southwest Conference with a 1-11.